LS11 Universe, it's Xander, and welcome back to WWE 2K22 Universe Mode. We're here for another episode of Monday Night Raw, heading into the Clash of Champions pay-per-view. In just a couple of weeks' time, we are starting things off here with a number one contenders match. An eight-man battle royal to crown a number one contender to the European Championship. And out first is a man that many consider the favorite early on, Sheamus, making his way to the ring. I'm just going to apologize in advance. It's been a bad day. Sheamus making his way to the ring. Celtic Warrior, the first of eight men out tonight. Out next, Grayson Waller making his way to the ring. Part of the A-list effect tag team with The Miz. And out next... So we've already had Ireland and Australia. Out next, we've got the Polish Kamdaba Kato. Again, data wipe. Didn't have a chance to get him in a tire yet. I'm working on it. He's kind of at the bottom of the priority list for updates. So Daba Kato out next. The fourth man in here. The leader of the D'Angelo family, the head of the D'Angelo family, Tony D'Angelo, making his way to the ring. Multi-time hardcore champion, Tony D, looking to bring some real gold into the family. He makes his way down to the ring. Out next... Rick Boogs making his way to the ring. Rick Boogs, a fan favorite. He's a former hardcore champion. He's unrun a lot of people are former hardcore champions, in all fairness. But Rick Boogs tonight looking to get his shot at the European title if he could win this battle royal. The guy's a genetic freak, that's for sure. Down for glories in a couple of weeks, and I've been recording that bit by bit, so that's kind of on the mind lately. Genetic freaks are on the mind lately. Out next, the South African sensation, Justin Gabriel, gonna come out to the ring. Justin Gabriel making his way down to the ring. What else do we have in this battle royal? Because there was one man that I was unable to confirm due to Mick Foley saying he had a surprise plan for this one. So here comes Chad Gable to the ring. Gable making his way down to the ring. Oh, hang on a minute. What the hell? Well, the eighth man is the returning Ilya Dragunov. Ilya Dragunov is back. We haven't seen Dragunov in a few months, not since he was announced to be going to NXT. Feel like, feel like me saying that kind of tells you what's happening there, doesn't it? And Ilya Dragunov making his way to the ring. And Dragunov is back on Raw. And he's in this European Championship number one contenders match. The last man in the ring is going on to Clash of Champions to fight Baron Corbin for the European title. The way these battle royals always seem to work is someone gets eliminated very early on and then the others start falling like dominoes over the next few minutes. And the question is, who's going to get eliminated first? Well, it looks like it's Chad Gable gone first at the hands of Grayson Waller and Tony D'Angelo now gone at the hands of Ilya Dragunov. 
We're down to six almost immediately here. Oh, Waller with a kick to Dragunov. Justin Gabriel taking down Dabakato. Rick Boog showing off his power right now against Sheamus. This is only our first match of many to come. We still got the women's tag team turmoil coming up later tonight as well. Sheamus goes over the top rope. Dragunov grabs Waller, ducks him. Hang on, Dragunov. For a chop, Waller out of the way. Now Sheamus with an uppercut. Sheamus getting Dragunov back up. Dabakato grabs onto Rick Boogs. Sheamus with, gets caught with a knee strike. Dabakato now knocking back Ilya. Scoops him up. Ilya Dragunov slides out of it. Chop block. Jason Gabriel going after Grayson Waller here. Waller fighting back. Now Dabakato. Oh, Dragunov counters. Dragunov. Close line. Wiping out Dabakato. It's Rick Boogs. Oh no. Grayson Waller. Waller goes over the top. Right hook by Dragunov, though. Waller springs back into the ring. Justin Gabriel going out to the big man here. Rick Boogs. Looking to shift his attention. Oh, Dragunov nearly falls out of the ring there. That could have been bad for Dragunov as Rick Boogs drops Grayson Waller. Oh, and now Sheamus and Dragunov going at it. Two hard-hitting brutes meeting. It's now Dabakato with Justin Gabriel takes him down. Going for Rick Boogs here. Kicked in the ribs, though. Grayson Waller into a neckbreaker. Rick Boogs knocks down Sheamus. Neckbreaker from Gabriel to Dragunov. Comes on to him now, getting him back up to his feet. Grayson Waller, oh, knocked back. Dragunov. Dumps Grayson Waller out of the ring. Now Dabakato. Knocking down Justin Gabriel. Ilya Dragunov looking to prove himself a bit of a giant slayer tonight. Knocking back guys double his size. Taking down Dabakato. And Dragunov grabs onto him now. And Dragunov. There's Dabakato over the top rope. Dabakato hanging on. Rick Boog slams down Dragunov. Justin Gabriel now trying to eliminate Dabakato on his own accord here. He could get him. Dabakato's trying his damnedest to stay in it, though. And he does. Oh, and now Sheamus grabs him. And Sheamus, with the greatest of ease, threw him over the top. Justin Gabriel picks up the pieces. Dragunov with a clothesline. And Ilya Dragunov clotheslines him there. Dumps Rick Boogs. Here we go. Sheamus and Dragunov, the final two in this battle royal. Sheamus drops it. Dragunov goes down. Sheamus getting him back up. Sheamus going up. Oh, Dragunov fights out of the Celtic Cross. Takes down Sheamus. Well, yeah, Dragunov hits the ropes. Torpedo Moscow. Sheamus talked a big game to Corbin last week, but I think... Ilya Dragunov is headed to Clash of Champions. Welcome back to Monday Night, Ilya. Ilya Dragunov gets the win. Dragunov storms back into Monday Nights. And Ilya Dragunov is headed to Clash of Champions to fight for the European title. What a start to Monday Night Raw. Johnny, look, I'm sorry. The case is I've booked you in this main event match with Gallows and Anderson, and you're going to have to find a tag team partner. Mick, man, you know literally no one likes me around here. I mean, I wish you the best of luck. Just, uh, it's a looking champ. Thanks. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the women's tag team turmoil match. The winners challenge for the women's tag team titles in just a couple of weeks at uh in just a couple of weeks at Clash of Champions out first. Here comes Nikki Cross. 
Former two-time SmackDown Women's Champion sprinting down to the ring. Out next, Piper Nibben. No, not calling her the other name. Piper Nibben making her way to the ring. Piper Nibben makes her way to the ring. Out next, here comes a fan favorite team. Here comes Strike Force. So, Strike Force makes their way to the ring. The turmoil begins. We have, I believe, five teams in here. There might have been an issue. We might be down to four. Possibly. I honestly don't remember. It's Shayna Baszler and Nikki Cross starting off. Shayna taking her down out of the gate here. And now Shayna firing away on Nikki Cross. Oh, Nikki Cross knocking her back. And now Nikki Cross grabs her suplex, takes down Shayna. Shayna Baszler now is down. Nikki Cross. Oh, sits out across her and takes her down. Tag made, Piper Niven in. And now Piper Niven quickly into a cover here. I've never really understood the strategy there of, pin, of tagging in to pin someone if they've had all that time since you were taking time to tag in to recover. I've never really understood the strategy there. And now Piper Niven sent to the referee. Shayna Baszler with another leaping punch. Takes her down. Baszler firing over. Kicks on Niven. Piper Niven is down. Shayna Baszler breaks through her with a spear. Now Shayna kicking her down. Shayna Baszler getting Piper Niven back up to her feet now. Shayna grabs onto her. Launches her into the corner of Strike Force. Kicking her down. Shayna Baszler now grabs onto her. Puts her back up to her feet, kicking her in the ribs. Shayna Baszler knocks her in the corner. Tag is made. Ivy Nile is in. Strike Force looking for a double team here. Double back body drop from Shayna and Ivy. Ivy Nile now hits the ropes. She hits an elbow drop on Piper. And Ivy Nile takes out Nikki Cross. Nile stomping away on her now. Ivy Nile kicking her down. Oh, Piper Niven flattens her with a crossbody. Well, now Niven grabs on to Nile and throws her across the ring. Ivy Nile goes down, covered by Piper Niven. One, Nile grabs the ropes. Ivy Nile grabbing the ropes, keeping herself in this one. Now Piper Niven picking her back up to her feet here. Niven grabs onto her, pulls Ivy Nile in, scoops her up on her shoulders. Ivy Nile. Chop block, taking her down. Gets her back up to her feet now. Oh, Piper Niven caught a hold of her. Ivy Nile answering back, though. Ivy Nile knocks her back with elbow strikes. Nile kicks her in the ribs. Oh, look at this. Locking her in a, a, lifted, a lifted choke here. Ivy Nile stretches her out and gets it. So, out next was actually supposed to be the team of Zelina Vega and Electra Lopez, but I always keep things very real with all of you. The 2K servers just went down, and I couldn't go download them, because I didn't have them downloaded yet. So instead, filling the place of Legato Del Fantasma in this matchup will be first, Natalia, who is, look man, I'm in a very, very bad place mentally right now. But I'm having to get this episode done because I leave for Paris in five days and I have 
eight episodes of Universe, counting this one to do, as well as commentary for Bound for Glory. And uh, I have to get the I have to get the footage for LSWF for the day I get back, sent to the Doctor and Quizmaster so that they can commentate it. So, anyways, the team of Natalia and Tamina are in this gauntlet next. So just bear with me on this episode because I know it might sound like I've got a lot of time with me flying out in five days, but I work for three of those days at my other job. Oh, and Shayna gonna start this matchup the same way that she started the last one, just punching Natalia in the face. Right hook connects now, and Shayna launches Natalia into the corner, kicking out the knee. Shayna now picking her back up to her feet. Now Shayna Baszler knocking back Natalia into the corner. Oh, goes for her, but Natalia fighting back. And Natalia double underhook. Gets Shayna up. Shayna gets out of it. Shayna Baszler. Kicks the knees. Right hook connects. Shayna taking down Natalia. And Shayna. What the hell is Shayna doing here? Fire away on the face of Natalia. Into an arm bar. Arm bar in on Natalia here. Baszler with the arm bar in. Natalia. Oh, Tamina coming in for the save. And Ivy Nile on the apron. Oh, what a shot from Nile! What a shot from Ivy Nile. Tamina taking a shot at Baszler, who wipes her out. And now Shayna Baszler turns Natalia around, and Shayna taking down Natalia again, firing away. Shayna Baszler. Oh, Natalia managing to escape that time. Shayna with a right hook now. Natalia catches her. Natalia with Shayna over the top rope out to the floor. So Ivy Nile enters the ring. Natalia takes down Ivy. Shayna wipes out Tamina. And now it's Shayna back into the ring. Shayna Baszler caught by Natalia. And Natty sends her over the top rope back out to the floor. Natalia, the only woman standing. It's like NXT, um, what was it called? Super Brawl. Right, Ray? Ray's not watching this episode. Natalia knocks back Shayna. And now Natalia pulls her in, grabs Shayna, picks her up. Natalia slides out of it. Now does Shayna and Shayna. German suplex taking her down. Shayna Baszler's got her down. She grabs Natalia. She picks her back up to her feet. Shayna Baszler, right hook connect. Close line. Taking her down now. Natalia's down. Shayna. Arm bar. Armbar back in on Natalia. Looking to break her arm. Here is Shayna. Shayna Baszler's got the armbar in on Natty. And here comes Tamina. Tamina trying to make the save. And she does. You gotta think the effects are starting to wear on Natalia's arm. Tamina getting out of the ring before she gets herself disqualified. Tamina now gets out of the ring. Natalia thrown over the top rope. Shayna tags Ivy. Ivy Nile now into the mix. Ivy Nile getting the... Winning submission over Piper Niven is now. She takes Natalia out of the ring, throws her out to Shayna. Shayna Baszler throws her into the ring. Ivy Nile grabs Natalia. Natalia slides out of it, kicks up the knee of the young Ivy Nile. Now Natty grabs onto her. Natalia. German suplex takes her down. Tag made to Tamina. And now Tamina's into the mix. Tamina. Grabs onto her, scoops her up, has Ivy Nile up on her shoulders. Nile wiggles her way out of it, takes down Tamina. And Ivy Nile now grabbing onto Tamina, turns her over with a kick. Ivy Nile, what is she thinking here? Ivy Nile, oh, takes her down into a sleeper. Nile's got the sleeper in Natalia making the save. Ivy Nile now with Natalia, throwing her out of the ring. The Queen of Hearts goes down. And now Nile logging in the same choke she had in on Piper Niven a minute ago. Ivy Nile looking to get another submission. Has it locked in tight on Tamina here? Tamina. I thought I thought Tamina was about to tap out. Shayna Baszler in the ring. Shayna taking out Tamina from behind. Ivy trying to take out Natalia who hops off the apron. So Ivy Nile, I think she's had enough of that. Decides she'll just handle Natalia. 
Look at this torture rack. Drops her. Oh, and she pounces on Tamina now. Ivy Nile kicks her in the ribs. Grabs Tamina. Torture rack. Locked in. Another submission for Strike Force. Here comes the next team in the turmoil. Here comes Team Kick to the ring. Dakota Kai and Tegan Knox making their way to the ring. And who knows, maybe when I'm back from Paris, there'll be an updated Tegan mod for her, for a new look. Never know. With Tegan Knox and Dakota Kai making their way to the ring, Team Kick is the fourth team to enter this turmoil. Let's see how they fare compared to the previous two. So it's Ivy Nile and Dakota Kai starting it off. Here we go. Oh, hang on, the referee. Stupid freaking targeting system in this game. Dakota Kai trying to knock back Ivy Nile. Ivy Nile grabs onto her now, and Ivy scoops her up, slams her down. And Zakuri from Dakota Kai, though. Now Dakota getting her back up to her feet here. Dakota Kai, another Enzigiri. That's the kick part of team kick for you. Now Dakota Kai keeping her down, goes for another kick. And, oh, Ivy Nile sweeps the leg. Ivy Nile catches her now, and Nile stomped to the arm of Dakota Kai. Goes for a kick, countered. Now Dakota Kai firing away. Dakota Kai, spinning wheel kick, grabs onto her, throws her across the ring. Oh, they collide. Nile got out of it. Nile takes her down. And now Ivy Nile bends back the arm. Knee to the arm. Has her down into a cover. One. Two. Kick out. And Dakota Kai getting the shoulders up. Right hook from Ivy Nile. And now Nile scoops her up. Ivy Nile. Knee to the back of Dakota Kai. Has her down. Double tag is made. Tegan Knox and Shayna Baszler, two of the most successful NXT Women's Champions in all this love in history. Going at it in the ring now, Shayna firing away on Tegan here. Tegan Knox goes down. And now, Shayna Baszler grabs onto her, bends back the arm, and Baszler. Stomping the hand now of Tegan. Has her down. Tegan Knox has her arm bent back. Shayna Baszler stomping the arm. And Baszler again going to the hand. Trying to work over the hands of Tegan Knox. Into a cover. No. And now Shayna pulls Dakota Kai in. And Shayna Baszler... Drops Dakota Kai. And then Tegan rolls her through. Shayna gets, gets her turned around here and Shayna Baszler. Right hook connects, turns her around, kicks her in the ribs. Shayna Baszler lifts up Tegan. Karafuda clutch. Karafuda clutch is in. Tegan Knox might be out of it. Tegan struggling. Tegan writhing here. Tegan Knox trying to roll through it though. Elbowing her in the ribs. Knocks her back. Elbow strike to the face of Shayna Baszler. And now Tegan Knox grabs her. Rolls Shayna through. Cover. One. No. Shayna gets the shoulders up. And now Shayna getting her up to her shoulders. Power bomb takes her down. Getting her back up to her feet now. Shayna grabs onto Tegan Knox. And Tegan Knox in some trouble here. Shayna Baszler. Back on towards the corner of Strike Force. Tegan Knox, knocking her back. And now Knox grabs onto Baszler, launches her across the ring into the corner. Tag is made to Dakota Kai. And now Team Kick with a double team. Dakota Kai with a kick to the back. Kai turns Shayna around, gets her up. Dakota 
with the kick cover one two no Ivy Nile making the last second save she sends Tegan out Dakota sending Ivy out and now Dakota Kai getting Shayna Baszler back to her feet Dakota small package one two no Shayna Baszler getting the shoulders up Baszler back to her feet with a spear if you remember if you think back all the way to the beginning of LS11 universe Shayna Baszler and Dakota Kai were actually each other's first opponents in the LS11 universe out of the ring goes goes Tegan Knox. Shayna Baszler now with Dakota Kai Kai knocking her back and Dakota Kai went for a right hook Shayna countered Shayna Baszler grabs her now and Shayna eat defeat to Dakota Kai and Shayna now mounting her Shayna firing away down now Shayna turning Dakota Kai over Shayna Baszler cover on Dakota Kai one two no and now Tegan Knox launched in the corner by Shayna now Shayna Baszler's got the arm Dakota Kai oh no Dakota Kai in trouble here Shayna stops the arm of Dakota Kai both members of team kick are down Shayna is looking to further punish Tegan Knox right now Carrying her around the ring. Oh, Tegan. Knocks back Shayna. Dakota. Rolls her through. One. Two. No. Oh, what a close line there. Dakota catches Shayna again. Now Dakota Kai. One. Two. It's saved by Ivy Nile. And Dakota Kai tries to grab her. Shayna Baszler. Shayna Baszler's got her up. Stun gun takes her down. Now there's a tag made. Ivy Nile is in. Shayna Baszler is working as a one-woman wrecking crew for a minute there. As Ivy Nile tags in, Ivy throws her into the corner. Ivy Nile. Oh, countered by Dakota. Dakota Kai firing with these kicks. Knocking back Ivy Nile. One more kick there. There's another one. Dakota Kai. Staying on top here. There's the big one to the face. Elbow drop connects. And Dakota getting Ivy back up to her feet here. Dakota Kai with Ivy Nile. Throws her across the ring into the corner. Tag is made to Tegan Knox. And then Team Kick is going to look for the double kick. Down goes Shayna. Tegan now getting Ivy back up to her feet. Tegan Knox. Kicks Dakota Kai. Or kicks Ivy Nile. Code red. One, two, three, no. Strike Force nearly gets eliminated from the turmoil. It's been a great showing for Strike Force thus far, and Tegan Knox looking to end it with shiniest wizard. Cover. One, two, saved by Shayna. Oh. And now Dakota. Dakota and Tegan looking to take out Shayna. Oh, a stomp to Shayna. Team kick wiping out the queen of spades there. As Tegan Knox firing away on Ivy Nile. Knocking her back, Ivy Nile. Tag is made to Dakota Kai. And Tegan Knox. Oh, Dakota Kai and Ivy Nile going at it. Ivy looking for the tag to Shayna. Oh, Tegan with the save. And now Dakota gets, gets her up. No. Ivy Nile catches her. Ivy Nile with Dakota up. Dakota rolls it through. One, two, three. Team kick advance to the finals. Well, ladies and gentlemen. The Sky Pirates are back.
Io Shirai and the returning Kyrie Sane are the final team in the turmoil. The Sky Pirates sliding into the ring. Sane and Shirai have returned. As, oh, Kyrie Sane immediately drop kicking Dakota Kai. And Dakota Kai fire away. Kyrie Sane knocking her back. Team kick just went through a hell of a fight with the strike force as Kyrie Sane wipes out Tegan, goes to the top, and drops the insane elbow. One, two, Tegan with the save. Spear to Tegan. Tag to EO. And now the former Raw Women's Champion wipes out the former NXT Women's Champion. Dakota Kai. No, EO Shirai. Shirai with a Hurricane Rana. Tegan knocks up on the apron now. Oh, Shirai wiping her out again. Team Kick are just completely out of it at this point. Dakota Kai and Io Shirai face to face again. Shirai shoved off the top rope. Dakota Kai now calling her up to her feet. Kai tries to grab her. And now Io Shirai fires back with a right hook. And again. And again. Shirai goes for her. Dakota Kai out of the way. Kai with a right hook. And now Dakota Kai with a stomp to Io Shirai. Getting the former Raw Women's Champion up to her feet. Countered. Shirai stomps the chest of Kai. Oh, wipes out Tegan before a tag can happen. Rolls her through again. Stomps the chest. And now Dakota Kai is down. Io Shirai, that's a, that's a very long way to go. Oh, drops the elbow herself instead of going for the moonsault. One, two, three. Sky Pirates are headed to Clash of Champions. Sky Pirates walk in at the end and just pick up the pieces. They're headed to Clash of Champions. We have more coming up on Raw. Up next. Hey, um, Tommaso, you got a second? What the hell do you want? Um, I was just gonna, uh, well, I was wondering, ah, uh, you know what, forget it, it's stupid, pretend you didn't see me. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we got some more action up next as Johnny Gargano's search for a tag team partner continues. Here comes Jinder Mahal and, um... Back. This was going to be Cameron Grimes in the matchup tonight. But somehow I've made him disappear. Like, I'm going to break the fourth wall a lot this episode, as you've seen. But, like, so there, there's a tool called Discovery Meta. And it lets you unlock characters to actually play as they're exposed to be. So, like, Adam Pierce, 2017 Seth Rollins, um, all the My Career guys. Somehow, in using that tool, I think I've locked Cameron Grimes. So, eventually I'll journey into that void to try and find him again. Otherwise, you might not see him again until 2K23. Jinder Mahal makes his way to the ring nonetheless. Jinder Mahal tonight 
He's going to go one on one with one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions. He's going one on one with Dijak. Rhea Ripley leading the charge. Jack and Corey Graves making their way down to the ring. We don't know who's going to challenge them just yet. We'll be determining the rest of the number one contenders for Raw's titles next week. So, Judgment Day make their way to the ring. Without any further ado, let's just get on with this match. I still got like two more upsets to do. Tonight. I got two hours to do them. Dijak and Jinder Mahal one on one. Dijak out of the gate with a boot. Dijak getting Jinder back up to his feet. Until last week's Fatal Four Way, Dijak was undefeated in this season. Dijak is currently eight and one in season four and that is one of the best records in the series right now or one of the best records out of everyone in the season is what i mean by that across all four weekly shows as dijak completely planting gender into the mat kicks him in the back gender back to his feet now and gender mahal going after him now dijak knocked back now oh a ddt from gender taking down dijak gender mahal Trying to fight back into it. Well, I say Dijak has got the one of the best records of the season. Jinder Mahal continues to have one of the worst. Jinder Mahal not gotten a single win this season. He's only had three wins in his whole LS11 career, and they all took place at the beginning of season three. Mahal taking down Dijak. Rolls him over now. Jinder Mahal into a cover. One. Dijak out before even one can really happen. As Jinder now getting him back up to his feet. Jinder Mahal. Spine Buster takes down Dijak. Now Jinder kicks out the knee. Well, you know, they say don't hinder Jinder or something like that. I don't know. Jinder Mahal now has Dijak up on his shoulders. Jinder Mahal taking him towards the ropes. Dijak fights out of it, though. And now Dijak with Mahal across the ring. Oh, an elbow strike into the face. And Dijak... Oh, it looks like he's busted Jinder open right by the eye a little bit as well. Taking him down now is Dijak. Stomping away on Mahal, kicking him down. Jinder Mahal goes for a close line. Dijak scoops him up, and Dijak body slams him. Dijak gets him back up to his feet, and Dijak with a right hook. Dijak firing away at him. Discus close line. Dijak firing away on Jinder Mahal. Dijak. Fires away at him. Dijak. Another discus clothesline connects. And now Dijak getting him back up to his feet. Another clothesline. Jinder is down. Dijak. Looking down. I mean, hey, last week Dijak caught probably the biggest win of his career. Uh, sorry, Rhea Ripley walked on the screen. Um, Got probably the biggest win of his career. That's where I was going with it, right? Against Tommaso Ciampa. As now, Jinder Mahal fights back. And now Jinder. You might think that was a bit. I Jinder got a little distracted. I'm sorry. Because there's a chop. Jinder Mahal launched across the ring. Into the corner. Elbow strike. Like four people in wrestling can make me distracted. Make me lose my turn of thought. Rhea Ripley's one of them. Keith Lee's another. Ty check taking down Jinder Mahal. This is the episode where I break kayfabe a lot. This is the... the I've recorded seven straight hours including two pay-per-views and I'm I'm a little I'm a little out of it mode and we still got one match to go we still got the main event coming so Dijak oh my god Dijak with the Colossus to Jinder what the hell one two three oh my god Jinder's bleeding
Dijak gets the win. Whoa, hang on a minute. Champa boots the hell out of Dijak and Tommaso Champa getting some revenge. Oh, hang on now. Now Champa and Ripley face to face. The two most winning people in LS11 Universe arguing with one another at the moment. Champa clearly trying to send a message to Judgment Day here. And Ripley and Champa agree to back off for now. Man event's coming up. Bobby, Bobby. What, Johnny? You, you know, man, I was just kind of thinking that, you know, you and I got some history with the whole glorious bomb stuff. You know, you, me, and Tommaso, all the... We were, we were doing TikTok before TikTok was even a thing, you know? Yeah. And... I was kind of wondering if maybe you'd be my tag partner for my match coming up right now. Johnny, as much as I say I'm sorry, that would imply that I feel bad about what I'm saying. Um... I'd rather walk through broken glass barefoot than team up with you tonight. I got my own issues to deal with. So, uh, why don't you bother someone else like, uh, God, why, why not that guy behind you? Guy behind me? Well, who's behind me? Huh? I mean, after everything, is there any chance that you'd be willing to help? Well, um, it seems he might have found someone. It's time for the main event. Here comes the club. AJ Styles, Luke Gallows, and Carl Anderson making their way to the ring. Johnny Gargano's got to have a partner. Take on Gallows and Anderson tonight before he battles AJ Styles at Clash of Champions. AJ Styles making his way down to the ring. He told me earlier today he's pretty excited about this upcoming match with Gargano in a couple of weeks at Clash of Champions. He knew that uh, when Gargano came back to WWE that Gargano was someone he wanted to face off with for sure. He just was waiting patiently for them to end up on the same show. Lo and behold, here we are. AJ Styles makes his way to the ring with Gallows Anderson by his side. Gallows Anderson going to be set for the action here tonight. Styles just going to be observing. Here comes the number one contender to the WWE title. Here comes Johnny Gargano. Johnny Gargano making his way down to the ring. He won that big contender's night last week. Getting some huge victories along the way. So now Johnny Gargano tonight. He seemingly has found a partner. That's at least what it seems to be. That or whoever he ran into. Oh, hang on a minute. Johnny Gargano teaming up with the man that beat him for the world title years ago now. It's Seth Rollins. It's the first time we've seen Rollins since the SummerSlam press conference. Seth Rollins making his way to the ring. 
We know Rollins, I mean, many people said they could practically hear his blood boiling when AEW champion Kenny Omega confronted him at the SummerSlam press conference and told him, learn how to win again. So it looks like tonight, Rollins has decided to team up with Gargano for the first match of Rollins trying to, and I quote, learn how to win again. Seth Rollins back in the building. Rollins and Gargano teaming up in the main event. There's a right hook from Gargano. Coming off the ropes. Close line. Elbow drop. Gargano starting it off with Gallows. Johnny Gargano. Moonsault. And down now is Johnny Gargano trying to keep him down. Gallows pounces on him. And Gallows with a back body drop. Puts him down now does Gallows. Gallows grabs him now. Gallows taking him down. Doc or Luke Gallows knocks him down. Has Gargano down. Luke Gallows now. Grabs onto him. Pulling back on Rimmer. Gallows and Anderson are former tag team champions in LS11 Universe on Raw. And, well, I mean, since Forbidden Wars coming, we're kind of talking about all the promotions, I guess. Their former Raw and AEW tag team champions. As here comes Rollins to battle Carl Anderson. The machine gun gets his hands up, though. Blocks that drop kick. Grabs Rollins. Has him up. Rollins finds the counter. And. German suplex. Rollins now getting him back up to his feet. Seth Rollins with a chop. Firing away on Carl Anderson. Spinning wheel kick knocks him back. Anderson grabs onto him now. And Carl Anderson with Seth Rollins. Picks him up again. Rollins with a knee strike knocks him back now. And Seth Rollins grabs onto Anderson. Sends him off the ropes. And Anderson caught the ropes into a drop kick from Rollins though. Seth Rollins hits the ropes. Rollins knee off the face of Anderson. Now Rollins kicking down. Carl Anderson back to his feet. Anderson pulls Rollins in. Lifts him up. Rollins tries to grab him now. Anderson kicks him in the ribs. Carl Anderson right hook. Rollins answers back. Rollins with a drop kick. Seth Rollins now getting him back up to his feet. Rollins kicks him in the ribs. Hang on a minute. Rollins hooks the arms. Pedigree. One. Two gallows with the save. Now Rollins takes down Gallows. Gargano with a frog splash to him as well. Rollins and Gargano working together to wipe out Gallows and Anderson. Anderson answers back though. Carl Anderson hits the ropes. Carl Anderson. Gargano knocking him back. Rollins into a neck breaker. Rollins getting him back up to his feet now. Seth Rollins grabs onto Anderson. Throws him into the corner. Now Rollins stomping away on him. Seth Rollins. It's caught now. Anderson scoops him up on his shoulders. Anderson. Oh, Rollins slides out of it. Tag made to Johnny Wrestling. Gargano and Gallows back in. Gargano. Never forgetting that chair. Styles tried to bring in out of the mix. Super kick to Gallows. Elbow drop as well. And now Johnny Organo going to come in like a house of fire. Takes down Anderson. Turns his attention back to Gallows. Gargano hops over him. Gallows with a stomp though. Johnny Gargano's down. Gallows one. No. Gargano kicks out. And now Gallows went for right hook. Gargano with a chop. Gargano scoops him up and drops him. One, two, pick out from Luke Gallows. Johnny Organo and Zagari connects. Gargano's got him down. Gallows tags in Anderson, though. Gargano telling Anderson, bring it on. Carl Anderson grabs onto Gargano now. Anderson gets him up on his shoulders. Gargano counters Gargano. Super kick. And Gargano. 
Went for another one. Anderson out of the way. Gargano countered. Gargano. Drop kick. Tags made to Rollins. Now Seth Rollins back into the mix. And Seth Rollins kicks Carl Anderson in the ribs. Seth Rollins. Oh! Pumped him into gun stun. Oh, and Gargano launches himself in. Anderson with a right hook. Gargano makes the sacrifice play to help save Rollins. And Seth Rollins, stunner to Gallows. Turns Anderson over, Seth Rollins. The stomp connects. Cover, but a rope break for Carl Anderson. Drop kick from Rollins again. Rollins now getting Anderson back up to his feet. Seth Rollins with Carl Anderson into the corner. Johnny Gargano's down though. Rollins having to go it alone right now. Anderson firing back at him now. Anderson with Rollins up on his shoulders again. Rollins slides out of it. Seth Rollins taking him down. And now Rollins wants it. Rollins is wanting it all. Seth Rollins. Pops him and kick to the back of the head. Tag made to Johnny Wrestling. Gargano is in. Johnny Gargano. Now he's going to look to end it. Gargano with the super kick. Wipes out Anderson. Rollins takes down Gallows. Two. Three. Seth Rollins and Johnny Gargano get the win. Hell of a win for these two tonight. Seth Rollins and Johnny Gargano do the unthinkable and pull off the victory together. Huge win there tonight in Rollins and Gargano. High-fiving it out. All the bad blood is gone, it would seem. Thank you all for watching tonight's episode of Monday Night Raw. Until next time, I've been Xander, and that was Universe.